All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had someone ask the question on how to solve something, so I'm going to show you how. If you get a chance, please, if you have an iPhone or iPad, download Tarver Academy, the app. Just search Tarver, and it's the only one you got. Um, or check me out on Twitter at Tyler Tarver, and I'll try to answer some questions. Um, just tweet me a picture of an example, and I'll do my best if I have time, which I should, because what am I doing? I'm a Matthew drum rich, right? No, I'm not. Okay, TarverAcademy.com. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, someone had the question on the uh, slope intercept form. Uh, they said, what do I do if I have the coordinates 5, 3, and negative 1, negative 5? How do I find that and put it in slope intercept form? Y equals MX plus B. Okay, well, I apologize. I don't have my stylus, so my hands are writing, and it's not great. Okay, so first thing we got to do is we're going to have to figure out what our M is, what our slope is. They did not give us the slope, so we have to find the slope. But guess what? They gave us two points. I'll give you a hint. They're them right there. That's one point. That's another point, also called a coordinate. Coordinate, coordinate. So with those two coordinates, we can solve this little guy. So I just have to use the slope formula. Um, M, which is the slope, is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus x1. Once again, no stylus, forgive me. Now, what I like to do is I like to label my coordinates so that I don't get mixed up. This is an x, and that's my first coordinate, y first coordinate, x second coordinate, y second coordinate. Okay, now I have much less of a chance of getting mixed up over here, okay? So, all I do is now I plug in what my stuff was. So, we got y2, which we've already said is this little guy right here. So, that's negative 5, Minus sign. Do not forget that minus sign right there and right there. Okay, those go in. All right. Now what's uh, labeled with my y one? This little guy. So I put three. Um, and then on the bottom part, x two. Look over there on your left. It's negative one. Don't forget your minus sign. And then our x one is five. Now I need to finish this little guy off. Negative five minus three is negative eight. Negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Now, can we simplify that? All day, every day. 4 over 3. Okay? So, I've got my M. I've got my slope. So, let's use my little phrase I like to use. It's called plug in what you know to find what you don't know. Y equals MX plus B. And yes, you have to say it like that. It's a rule. It's a math rule. A rule. A, a rule. A wrath. Okay, let's just keep going. All right, so let's plug in what we know. We know our M because we already found it. It's 4 over 3. That was written weird, but I apologize. Now, do we know our Y? Nope. Do we know our X? Nope. Do we know our B? Nope. Okay, so what we do know is we know an X and a Y. Okay, because in our final equation, all we're going to do is have an M and a B. Our X and our Y can be any X and Y attached to a coordinate that's on this line. But where are we going to find a coordinate on this line? I'll give you a hint. There's two of them right here. We're going to use this one. Okay? Nope. Forget that. That one's dumb. I don't even like that one. See ya. We're going to use this one right here. Okay? I always say positive. Positive numbers, stay positive. All right? So let's plug those little guys in. Our x was 5. So I'm going to go 4 over 3 times 5 plus B, and then our Y is 3. I chose this coordinate instead of this one because it's it's positive numbers. I like to stay in the positive numbers unless there's just something that works out really well. Okay, so now all we're doing is solving for B. What I need to do first, that's right, I need to multiply those two. So we got 3 equals, and then I'm just going to multiply the 5 times the 4, so it's 20 over 3 plus B. Alright, now, only thing I gotta do to get rid of the B is get rid of the 20 over 3. Now, some people are like, well, I'll multiply the 3 and then I can subtract the 20. No. There's plus sign right here means that you can't just multiply by 3 because if you did that, you would put B on this side. I guess we could. Do you want to do that? I actually think that'd be easier. Let's do that. Wow, you guys are so smart. Let's multiply everything by 3. That's 9 equals 20 plus 3B. Okay, sometimes it's easier. People don't like fractions. I don't either. I'm, I'm a regular guy. I'm a regular guy who had a weird voice. I have no idea why I did that. All right, so I'll subtract 20 from both sides. So we've got 9 minus 20 is negative 11 equals 3B. 
divide both sides by 3, and that cancels out, and really you can't simplify negative 11 over 3. So we just found out that 11, negative 11 over 3 equals our b. Now, what all did we have to find? In our original equation, or in our original slope-intercept form, all we have to find is our m and our b. Did we find those? Well, yes, we did. So we just plug those into our y equals mx plus b, and we've got our final answer. Y, let's see if I can move this stuff. Oh, that's not the correct way to do it. Um, here we go. All right, we'll use our stuff. Man, that was pretty. I'll get better at it, guys. Keep asking questions, that way I can keep better at it. Y equals mx plus b. Plug in what we know. We know our m, we know our b. Y equals, what's our m? It's this little guy right here. 4 over 3, which is our slope. X, and then plus b, which what happens when you plus a negative? It just turns into a minus. There you go. And you've got your answer. All right, now, just as a reminder, that's your slope. That's what the rate of change was. That means each time you have a point, you'll go up 4 over 3. And that's going to be where another point is. Up 4 over 3, another point. And that can make your line, okay? And this right here, the B, that's your y-intercept. That's where on your graph right here, that's where it's going to cross the y-axis, okay? So, for instance, negative 11 over 3, that's about negative 3.6 repeating, so it would be about right here. So if I wanted to plot it on the coordinate plane, I would plot that point first, and then I would just plot off the slope. I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and then you can connect that and make a line. That's the line that we just wrote the equation for. Okay? Now, I apologize for the messiness. I forgot my stylus. Let's not forget that I don't know what I'm doing. You can please check out tarveracademy.com. Check me out on Twitter at Tyler Tarver. Ask me any questions you got. Um, also, i got tylertarver.com. And um, get our app. It's iPhone, iPad. Tell your friends. Love you. Bye-bye.